Hello everybody. Today I have a craft item haul. Um, there's some things from Joanne, some things from Dollar Tree, and some things from a thrift store. Um, since the Joanne bag is closest, I'll start with it. Okay, so it, since it's ready, let me grab a different bag. Put it in as I go through it. All of our stores in Athens that are going to paper bags, and um, it's kind of a blessing and a curse. <laughs> That's, um, okay, now I think I'm down to the actual Joanne stuff. This is a stamp wood block with the red rubber um, of cupcakes on a cupcake stand it was on clearance for $3.97 but I didn't pay that I paid quite a bit less everything that was on clearance had a deep discount on top of it so I have a lot of stuff and I didn't spend anywhere near what the price tags are saying um, these two pads were on clearance for $4.47 they're just small paper pads. Let me make sure it's all I have of this side. Yeah. Okay, these are, does it say, four and a half by six and a half inches. So I have pastels. Um, pink, light purple, kind of a light creamy color. A different light purple, yet another light purple, and a little bit darker purple, kind of a lime green. A, uh, in between that and a sage. So there's like a, I don't know light sage <laughs> and then two light blues and a more of a grass green i wish my colors would show up better on my screen so you could have a better idea of what they really look like but they are very pretty and yeah it's just a nice selection of colors let's see that looks more peachy here so maybe that's supposed to be a peach Speaking of peaches, I got some at the farmer's market the other day, and they were so good. This is neutrals. So we have browns and grays and kind of a, I don't know, creamy color, I guess. Both of these were $4.47 each, as according to their clearance sticker. But again, I didn't pay that much. Let's see if you can get a better idea of the colors. Several different shades of gray and brown, some peachy colors, some creamy colors. Neutrals. Most of what I got was paper that day. Um, I feel like there should be something else in this bag, but I am not seeing it. So then I got these two packs of paper. They were both marked $2.97 according to their clearance sticker this one is called under the sea it is six by eight inches you can kind of get an idea of the colors there on the bottom it's got this really pretty kind of maroon color a bright dark teal a really pretty like royal blue a navy and a gray this one is called mermaid you got a dark purple a light purple kind of a light pinky color a light kind of medium blue and on the sky blue so I think those are a couple of really nice color groupings of things that I like. Um, so this gray is really kind of a light gray. It's dark, much darker on the front, the uh, light blue. And then I got two more packs. These were also marked $2.97 and they are um, like eight and a half by 11. Yeah, eight and a half by 11, so US letter size. Those colors are very similar, but they are different. I don't know, they look the same on the screen. This is a little more teal, this is a little brighter blue. Um, this one has like a sky blue, a medium blue, a darker kind of in between blue and purple, purple and a darker gray. So you kind of have this darker color and the, this is really, really pretty. I wish my colors would show up better. Like, okay, so 
the um, calendar on the wall, the blue is about the right shade, but the flowers look orange on my screen, but they're very red, like absolutely red on the image. So I don't know why it's reading off and I don't know how to redo my color balance. Um, this one has like the, it's, these are brights, like neon almost. So you got a, a blue and a pink and an orange, a green and a purple. I mean, the purple is really bright, but it looks kind of dark on screen. So for some reason, it's like neutralizing reds. Maybe it's neutralizing yellow. Okay, when I hold it right here, that's almost the right shade. It's very close. Anyway, that's the batch of paper I got on a trip about oh, a month or so ago, maybe a month and a half ago. So I'm put all these in a bag. I think there was something else in that trip, but I don't know. Then on a different day, I picked up some other scrapbook paper. I have some ideas in my head that I want to make, and one of them needed a red glitter paper. I have a smaller piece of a red glitter, which I think is more the red I want. This is a little bit darker than, but I want to make the Mothman's eyes out of like red glitter or holographic paper. Um, this one is like postage stamp. This one's just like random squares, kind of a patchworky. Some really cool keys. I just thought these were neat. I had to have it. Why? I don't know. I just did. Then I got two sheets of this cupcake paper. Because one of the journals I want to make is a recipe journal. <coughs> and to go with it, I also got... Lemon. I thought I had. And this one, which. Does it say what the name of this design is? I kind of thought it was peaches, but it also kind of looks like oranges. So I wasn't sure, and I think I already picked a piece of this up. Uh, it doesn't tell you the name of the design on the little strip. But I kind of re remember the shelf tag saying peach. I don't know. It's either peaches or oranges. Whichever, I will use it, and it'll be fine. And then I got these, like, watercolor hearts, which I thought was super pretty. And kind of a neutral with butterflies. So those also came from Joanne, and it was, like, was it 10 sheets for $3? They were running that deal again. And then... That takes us to some Dollar Tree things. One of them is the stamp set. It's got like a watering can and a sunflower. And I got it because I wanted this little stamp here, which looks like dandelions. They have a lady who wanted to do a trade and she likes dandelions. So I thought maybe I would play with that and make her some something. And what else do I have in here? Um, got some binder clips because I always need binder clips. I got um, a two pack of bubble mailers with cute little uh, watermelon design. These are actually going to be for Christmas present, I think. 
my client found these and has been obsessed with the one that she bought. And I thought, you know what? I bet my niece would like these. These are highlighters, but they look like Lego bricks. So you can like pull them apart and you get three colors of highlighter. And then the other is the lid and you can rearrange them. You can like click them onto each other. She can use all three sets and like build off of them, whatever she wants to do with them. So I thought those were fun and cute. And I only found three different ones, so I don't know if there's more than that. If there is, maybe I'll find them later. Um, then I got some of these wall art stickers that I use for other things. I've got some silver butterflies. I've had gold ones before, and they're always a hit when I put them on, like, packages and things. I found these cute, like, they're really for a kid's room cute little animals but I got it for the elephant because my niece likes elephants and I thought you know if I make her something that'll give me something to put on there Let's see that one um but these butterflies moths whatever and this one's a two-sided then I got these bright colored butterflies and moths again it's a two-sided one and then I got this one now if you remember a while back I got all those Bigfoot stickers there's my force for Bigfoot so I can stick my little Bigfoots all through here I think it'll be cute and that wraps up Dollar Tree I don't know why these were stuck in there. They're just envelopes. They don't belong in that batch of stuff. So we'll put them somewhere else. Now, I didn't know about this place. There's a Goodwill in Athens, and I had been to it. And my client was looking for something specific and wanted to check thrift stores to see if she could find it. And we couldn't. We didn't find it at the Humane Society thrift store we didn't find it at any at the goodwill but she told me about this place called new to you which is just down the street from goodwill and i didn't know it was there we didn't find what she was looking for but oh boy did i find some goodies Let's do this. these aren't the uh, sturdiest bags so they divided it up for me i got all kinds of craft supplies. This is all paper, 12 by 12s. <coughs> I spent like less than $10, which is fantastic considering the prices on the items. Okay, so this package was marked 99 cents. It's got some Cinderella stickers, it's got some alphabet stickers, and one, two, three, four, four sheets of this lavender with stars. Let's see if you can kind of see it a little bit there. And then two, two? Yeah, two sheets of this pink, on pink scroll design. I thought, yeah, okay, that seems reasonable considering those sheets of paper would have cost 99 cents a piece at least. So I didn't think that was too bad. Then I got this package. It was marked $1.99. I was excited by the um, plastic envelope that they were in. And then I started looking at the papers that were in here. There's three sheets of this embossed purple heart design. Very pretty. One sheet of this blue with the little Mickey Mouse balloons. So you know just the word Disney is going to crank that price up. Two 
two sheets of this design. Looks like a backyard or something. And then two sheets with the house. Is that the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse? I don't, I'm not sure. Anyway, I think it's probably also a Disney. Um, two sheets of this yellow kind of confetti design. Two sheets of this yellow on yellow kind of cobblestone design. One sheet with Minnie Mouse. Two sheets without Minnie Mouse, but clearly they go together. Creating keepsakes. Copyright 2002 Sandy Lion sticker designs, huh? Wow, I remember Sandy Lion stickers from back in the day when I collected stickers as a kid. Two sheets of the red polka dot, which I think represents Minnie's bow. Three sheets of Snow White on a really pretty kind of purpley background with flowers. Three sheets that go with the Snow White because it's the same purple background. And then you got the basket with the poison apples. Two sheets with Jasmine on kind of a yellowy orange background. I wonder if those are supposed to be Jasmine flowers. And then this goes with it with the uh, Aladdin lamp. Then we have some from Beauty and the Beast. Three sheets with Mrs. Potts and the teacups. And three sheets with Belle. And little hearts in the background. Two sheets of like starfish and coral and stuff with bubbles. And two sheets with Ariel, Little Mermaid. I need one with Ursula. Ursula's my favorite. Then we have one, a Cinderella on a purple background with stars and flowers. And then the pumpkin to go with the Cinderella. So, I mean, $1.99 for that pile of paper is not bad. Like I said, I didn't pay the prices that they had marked on. They happened to be having a 50% off sale that day. So, you know, by all means, I was snapping up the paper. <laughs> I got all of the scrapbook paper that I saw. That doesn't mean there wasn't more there somewhere. Um, the organization wasn't the easiest to follow. But they had a lot of stuff. They had crafty things in a couple different places. Come on now. So there's that one. Then there's this one, which was marked $1.99. All together with a couple binder clips. Binder clips are awesome. I'm really happy to have a couple more. Especially since I had already bought some at Dollar Tree. So we have one, two, three, four of this floral and diamond design and the back is green there's four this kind of reddish design with stars and the back is kind of a off-white almost burlap textured look it doesn't feel like burlap but it looks like burlap that's what i'm trying to 
what I'm trying to express. Four sheets of this kind of yellowy, burlapy, textured looking with flowers. And the back is kind of a yellowy, burlapy colored. Two sheets of this green with a floral design and the back is green. Four of this stripe design and the back is kind of a reddish color. And a different stripe design and the back is also a reddish color. So they may not be my favorite designs necessarily. I can find uses for them. The um, solids on the back are always good. I can always use them for master boards because they always say use less loved scrapbook paper for the base. Or a lot of people do that. They're like, I can do that with this. But I mean, $1.99. I only paid 99 cents for it. Then there's this pack. This was 99 cents. Again, I was excited for the envelope. <laughs> um, and it has two sheets of this like birthday balloon paper that has this little fold out piece and it's designed to be a fold out. Um, it says use with our page flippers, extend your page with style. It's from postscript paper. They call it rainbow balloon. The back has this purple and then it has, um, if you need, it to be eight and a half by 11, you cut it here and then use the extra as accents for other parts. Or you can just use it as a 12 by 12, or you can use it with, as a 12 by 12 with a flip out. There's a lot of things you can do with this. And then in that packet, there was two sheets of these balloons. These are from paper pizzazz and then there was a strip of stickers from uh, creative memories this is from the plaid and pumpkins set Proctoberfest. what year was this does it say 2002 so probably not able to track these down but I think they're pretty. And I didn't know they were in there until I took everything out of the little envelope. So that was that pack. So those, you know, papers are fairly expensive. And, you know, this was 99 cents for the whole pack. I spent 50 cents on it. The strip of stickers was probably worth well more than that. And then I had tucked in there this other packet that I bought for 69 cents. Um, Creative Memories Collection Bright Paper Pack. And, I mean, we've got this really pretty blue. Um, can't get them to separate. This, like... They're almost neon colors. This really bright, almost fuchsia. Matches my shirt. It's actually, it's brighter than my shirt. This really intense, bright orange. Yeah, you can kind of see the colors better now. Is it because I stuck the orange out? They're actually a little bit brighter than what they appear on screen. And then this yellow. A different teal color. This was more green and this is more blue. And a purple. 
and then we start repeating colors. We have another teal, another blue, and another purple. So I'm guessing whoever had the pack originally must have needed the bright, warm toned colors. Let's stick that in there. Let's... And we got this pack. There's two packs of things stuck in here too just because I wanted to keep similar items together. <laughs> so this packet was 99 cents and it has a lot of die cut frames. and some other things. These are lines that are kind of metallic and rainbow effect. There's two strips of those that you can use. Um, oh, in publishing, we called them rule lines when I was doing yearbook stuff. So you can basically use them to be divider lines or to make borders on your photos or whatever. I'm not entirely sure what these are I think they are supposed to somehow work to create a film strip border. Or if you use the other side, make this design. But I don't know how they work. I will have to um, look at them closer. They're called link to link. Trim to fit, punch and trim edge, rotate paper 90 degrees clockwise, punch and trim edge. Punch edges, or punch and trim edge one, rotate 90 degrees, punch and trim edge two, punch edges three and four. So I guess you just like rotate it and somehow it makes your design, but I don't know how it works. There's some bunnies. These are from Mrs. Grossman. They've been around a long time, too, because, I mean, geez, that was 40 years ago that I was buying stickers. We had a place called the Rainbow Shop, and you, these would be on a roll, and you could, like, tear off the little square and go up and pay your quarter or whatever, depending on what the stickers were, for per little square of stickers. Yeah. <laughs> so we have some, these are die-cut frames. So there's some oval and circle and rectangle ones. Some are punched, some aren't. There's some that I guess were punched out of the middle of a full sheet, but they didn't continue punching, which is fine. There's a section that they all got punched out. So there, and a lot of them have embossing on them. So they're not just plain frames. They've got a design to them. These are all basically the same design, just different colors. There's one with an oval. Here's a just an oval. Here's another set of ones that need punched. This one's been... So here's the full sheet. <laughs> here's one that the middle's been punched out of. There's another one. So that set was, what did I say, 99 cents originally? You know what? I'm not putting them back in that bag. I'm just going to stick them all in here with the others. And this was marked $1.99 with a big package. Again, another one of these plastic things that I'm excited about. So now I've got a place to put all my um, loose sheets of paper. Symmetrics, die cut paper. Okay, so apparently it was a set of things that got divided up into a couple different packages. So you got the frames, we got the ovals, we've got little circles and things. 
there's another um okay so these are pastel I don't know if it's a whole set of sheets or if it's just one sheet is it's still sealed this makes it look like there should be four colors but these are all one color so I'm not sure at some point they were marked five dollars and fifty cents they were included in this whole pack for $1.99, which I only paid 99 cents for. So, um, yeah, they're getting closer to the price I would have paid for them. <coughs> but in here, just a piece of scrap card, which is fine. piece of cardboard. And then we start in with ours, all these die cut pieces. These are all different, like, shapes, kind of organic. There's some hearts. Some that look like vines. There's one that came out of there. I could punch this piece out. Looks like a little raindrop. And then you've got this one. Looks like a piece of ribbon or a vine that came out of there. Um, this one's a sheet of cardstock that somebody punched some squares from. And there's a whole bunch of these that are different borders. So there's like, they look like daisies. And there's some with, that look like um, vines with hearts. Other vines, some zigzaggy ones. I don't know if they'll show up better on a different color. Kind of see that piece hanging down with the little salty. There's, these are more like the, first green ones the dark green ones with the ribbons and hearts and the like but in different colors so there's a dark kind of brownish reddish brown here's a uh, more brick color there's kind of a dark mustard color black um here's some more of the borders and a yellow and then a white is there a color in between it? No, there's just those two. There's a yellow and a kind of dark teal that has the ribbon things. Uh, more borders. This is kind of a mottled gray. This one's kind of a tan, kind of a sage green. I mean, there's tons of these. Kind of a mottled yellow. This is a very, very dark green, almost black. It is green. <laughs> um, here's a really pretty teal color. And a Kelly green and a bright red. And a pink. I mean, if I need borders for anything, I'm set. Here's a frame, and then these two little squares that have circles and rings. And that's kind of a navy blue. Here it is in black. Here's what the full sheet would look like. And kind of um, a yellowy color. So you got, like, the... Well, we, we already saw these ovals in a navy that were punched out. We've got some rectangles. We've got more of those squares, the circles. Another sheet of that. Here they are in the burgundy color. Here they are in brown. Two sheets of brown. And a, another burgundy. There's navy rectangles and navy two cards of the rectangles and one of the um, ovals, which are identical to the ones that were punched out in the other packet. And a couple squares and circles. So, like, what I'm saying about squares and circles is punches out a square. The square punches out 
circle, which punches out another circle. So it's like a circle in a ring. Now these have a couple score lines. So if you needed to, you could fold them in their corners. You could probably tear them on that score line. And that is everything that was in that packet. Let me just scoot that aside and I will wrestle those pieces back in in a minute. This, I'm not sure which it is. It's either transparency film for plain paper copiers or it's right on transparency film. I don't know, it's very heavy. It was only 49 cents. So for a quarter, I got this whole big pack of stuff. I uh, should have been, does it say how many sheets? 100 sheets. But clearly it's two boxes put together. So I don't know if it's all one thing or if it's two different things. I guess we will find out at some point. I got a couple packs of napkins. This pack was 49 cents. And it just says have fun with some confetti. These are really pretty. Just leaves and kind of a mustard yellow and a dark teal and a burgundy kind of color. And this one, I love this one. This one says, the secret to staying young is to live honestly, eat slowly, and to lie about your age. And it's a quote from Lucille Ball. This pack was 69 cents. These two packs were each 49 cents. I found some heart-shaped dies, which would have been $1.25 if I would have bought them at the Dollar Tree. I've never seen them at Dollar Tree. They were marked 99 cents, so already getting a discount, and then half off, I got them for 50 cents which I think for just three tiny hearts, that's reasonable. And then I found this little box, which was marked 49 cents. And inside are some brads and some buttons. Now there's four different sizes and styles of heart, or no, they're not hearts at all, flower shaped buttons. And then they're green metallic, like really shiny green flower brads. I would have paid 49 cents just for the box. But then, you know, there is like, I think 12 brads that they're all alike. Then there's, you know, a bunch of different heart. Or, they're not hearts. They're still flowers, flower shaped buttons in different sizes. So there's some smaller ones. And they're different colors. They look like candy almost. So this is a different shape flower. Got it right this time. Not a heart. It's a flower. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, most of the buttons, there's about four in the design. Um, there's like eight of the smaller kind of, I think of them as a daisy shape. But, you know, that's fine. I think this is going to be fun to play with. I didn't have any buttons. Well, might be the odd one here and there, but not like a collection of buttons. And then, there's this. Now, remember, I said I only spent less than $10 on all that paper, the buttons, the dies, the napkins, the transparency stuff, all of that, and this. This was originally $9.99 for the bag. It is full of punches. Oh, where's that one sheet? Yeah. Since this is just a piece of scrap, we can see if the punches work. This one is still in the package. And it's a little pumpkin. This one is a paw print. 
see what it looks like. I hope these work. Oh, cute. Look at that. That is adorable. Now if I can just get the little bits to come out. Um, we have, what is this? We have a cat. It is a little plastic wrapper. So I don't know if that means it's not been used or what the deal is with it. But we'll try it. Get rid of that little packet. Family treasures, it says. Okay, it is not. This one may not work. It's really hard to, um, and it only cut part way. This one apparently is a dud. I will have to play with it and see if I can get it to work. Because it only cut part of the cat. This one is Mickey. I bet it was expensive when it was new. There. I got Mickey ears. So what I can do is cut a whole bunch of them and have a whole bunch of these that I can attach to stuff and then also have the cutouts. We have the Disneyland castle. Disney World castle. It says Walt Disney World right on there. This one's really hard to press, too. Some of these, I think, just need a, a surface to push down on. <clears throat> okay, there we got it. So I got the little castle. Uh, what do we got next? We have kind of an oak leaf. I think the ones with the little levers are a little easier. So what I can do is all these little bits I'm cutting out, put them in the empty square in that little box. This one's kind of a little swoosh. This makes a little S-shaped swoosh thing. This one looks like a maple leaf. I think this one's been well loved. It's almost I've got the design rubbed right off of it. one's a snowflake. I think they're pretty being all different colors. <laughs> there we go. This one is a little spiral. Let's see. 
do this over here. I suppose if you wanted to, you could say it's a six or a G. Oh, just a little swirl. This one is an egg shape. This one is music note. Is that an eighth note? Be a quarter note if it didn't have the flag on it, right? The flag makes it an eighth note. backwards that looks I don't know and we have kind of a branch with leaves was that a like a laurel maybe that one squeezed much easier than the rest of them <laughs> I have a die that's Kind of the same design, only bigger. And this looks like the last one, and it is kind of a splat. Well, I did that right on top of the leaf. Yeah, I don't know. Splat. Oh, you can see where I did it right on top of the edge of the leaf. Oh well, not that big a deal. At least they work. Now I'm going to work on the cat one, see if I can get it working. But I think for $10, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. This would have been 14 And then I ended up getting them for 5 and everything else, I mean, I spent less than 10 bucks on all of that. I'm happy. I would have been content paying the actual prices they were asking. Because I don't think they were overcharging. For the most part. Haha! <laughs> -ha. I punched a hole in the cat. <laughs> So if I get rough with it, it'll do stuff. That didn't sound quite right. So there's the cat. So if they all work, I just have to remember that the cat needs a little bit more. Anyway, that's all for, <coughs> for the arts and crafts haul. I have some books to haul, and I think that's going to be its own video because there's quite a few of them i did go to the athens library which is where some of the books came from and they had these cute little origami bookmarks i'm gonna have to figure out how these were made because they are so cute and they had Several different designs. I just thought this was really pretty because I like the kaleidoscope effect of the paper. So there's that. So I'm going to clean this up and switch over. And then I'll do another video of a book haul. So see you in a little bit. Remember to do all the youtube -y things. Comment, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell icon to be notified of future uploads. Should the YouTube gods deem it worthy. And I will see you shortly. Bye-bye.